Hello guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video about how to color in your trademarks on any pistol or rifle that you may have, it's airsoft or even the real thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a live video of just how to uh, get everything colored in and make everything look nice. Um, basically for the simplest way you can do it, there's multiple ways. The simplest way in my opinion is getting just a white crayon, you know, try to sharpen the, the tip a little bit. Um, so then you can get into the grooves then need some WD-40 to wipe off the excess because you're kind of mark it all over the slide and then just some regular paper towel just to kind of get that cleaned off. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do step by step on getting this uh, colored in. Enjoy guys. Okay so as mentioned before um, get a crayon that's somewhat sharpened. I mean this will do just fine um, and then it's literally as simple as just going in an up and down motion and then around uh, and then again you go horizontal so kind of demonstrating on the 19 here so just kind of bear with me on the angle try to press it in there pretty deep just because you wanted the uh the crayon particles to get into the group or into the groove i'm sorry group and then make sure you kind of color it in a few times just so you get a thick coat in there and then it's so it sticks in there so you can kind of see you know, that's the excess I was talking about that you're going to need the WD-40 for. But you can kind of already see that's pretty, pretty colored in there. I mean, it doesn't hurt to do a couple extra swipes in there. Now we'll move on to the Austria. This one's going to be mainly going in a horizontal direction um, just because of the, the grooves. They'll kind of suck in the crayon parts right into the lettering if you go horizontal. It sounds weird how I just worded that, but anyway... So I'm going to go ahead and get that colored in. And honestly, <clears throat> don't be afraid to just go, you know, all over the slide here. You know, because the WD-40 you have is like a solvent, so it'll help take all this stuff off. So, you know, do a little bit of horizontal, do a little bit of vertical up and down. And then before you know it, you can see the Austria is fully colored in. <clears throat> now you go to... The 9 by 19 same thing, go horizontal first. And you could already see that it's coming together nicely. Because I know I, have, I had a few requests on how this was done. Um, because as you've seen in my previous videos with any type of any type of pistol I had, whether it was a review or shooting demo, you saw all my trades were covered in. So you see right there, I got all the three main trades colored in on this uh, G pistol. Um, usually on the other side, there could be other trades, which I'll just fill those in as well, just for the heck of it. So you have the um, the WE right there. So we'll go ahead and get that filled in. So again, depending on the letters, you might have to go horizontal first and then vertical or vice versa. So I had to do uh, horizontal first on this one, and then vertical. Sometimes it might not stay in there uh, properly, so you might have to kind of give it a few uh, a few more tries, which I'm kind of having an issue with this little W here. It's not wanting to come off for me. There we go. So that's the WET. And then we'll do the little ones right here on the side. And for this, it really, <clears throat> it doesn't have any purpose. Like, I mean, it's just, it's just kind of cool. Um, gives the pistol a little bit more of a flare, just something um, that stands out from all the black. Um, which is kind of why I decided to do this. So there's that side. Flip it on over. There's the other side. So now you got your can of WD-40. So just get, you know, maybe like not a huge piece of paper towel, but something like small. Like a little square like that should be just fine. I might even go smaller. I might split the square into like a little piece like that. And then just if you have one of these that come with a straw it's a lot easier just kind of dab it over a little bit just enough to get in there like that 
Try not to put too much, um, just enough to kind of, you know, eat away at the sides. So I kind of don't go straight in there. I kind of do like around first. Let's see, it's already, it's going to be obviously a little bit lubricated. But I mean, it's going to come off easily. So you can kind of see that all that excess is already off. You just take off another clean paper towel. Go ahead and wipe that down. Look at that. Not bad. That actually turned out better than I thought. <laughs> Alright, now we'll go with the Austria. And same thing, go around it first and then gently go on the inside. Because sometimes if you, if you scrub this a little too hard, you might get some of the actual um, part that you colored in off. So don't want to do that. I mean, that'll kind of defeat the purpose. And then from there, dry off the excess with a separate cloth. Now you can kind of see it's coming together a lot nicely. Same now with the 19 by 19, go around. And then go in for the middle to get off the excess. Now, once you get the excess off, go ahead and get that taken off and voila look at that that is very professional looking it looks awesome makes the pistol stand out more um just kind of adds a little bit of flair to it now we'll jump over to the other side here <clears throat> so we'll get our wd-40 paper towel and then go ahead see now this one this one was the a little bit of the weird one because uh, I got a little bit of the, the number 8 coming off. But I'm not going to focus too much on that. I'll redo it another time. Well, there you go. You get the extra stuff off of there. Get yourself a dry one. Yes, yeah, so you can kind of see I messed up the 8. Made it a little bit too... I scrubbed it up a little too hard probably. Um, just want to avoid that. Um, just to not have to redo it. And then now we'll do this symbol here. This one's small enough to where you could just scrub it all over. The, the the trademarks here are so small, it's really difficult for any of the crayon to actually fall out of the frame. You could even do the outer barrel here, but that's just, uh, I don't feel like taking the whole thing apart to do it. But anyway, guys, here is the other side. Looks nice and clean. Wiped off any excess oil. And then this is the other side here. So let me just zoom out for you just so you can kind of see the pistol itself. And that's pretty much it. I mean, honestly, this video is right around the seven minute mark. So you could honestly do this under 10 minutes yourself. You know, and this goes towards anything. This goes towards rifles. It goes towards real guns, airsoft pistols, anything. Um, just a couple examples. Here's my uh, CZ. Um, I did the same thing. All the all the wordings on here were just in black, and then I ended up doing it all in the white crayon. Um, let's see. Also have my Glock here. This one needs to be a little bit touched up. Um, I didn't do this side though, but you know, all of this was done with the crayon procedure that you guys are seeing now. So um, just literally follow it step by step and then you guys should be good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do have any other questions for me, please let me know. Uh, go ahead and comment. And then if you do like my content, please subscribe. I definitely uh, upload a lot of airsoft content and it's something you guys will probably enjoy. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching.